there's some guy staring at me. Hi, it's Wing, and today I'm at the park. I'm filming somewhere outdoors that's not the beach for once, and I thought I'd switch it up a little bit today and come to this park that I used to come to a lot as a kid, but I haven't been here as much lately because I don't live that close to here anymore but it's nice to be back here for a change. So today I brought with me a bunch of makeup products with me that I recently bought but haven't got around to trying yet. So I thought why not try them with you and see if I can whip up a quick and simple look with the things I've got because I think I did get enough for a full face look. So let's see because I have no plan for this again. I will make this up as I go get into it. We're gonna start off with this palette called the Emoda Face Color Palette. I've never actually heard of Emoda before but they are a Japanese brand and this came as a free gift with a Japanese fashion magazine that I saw on sale <laughs> and it was a really good deal for how big this palette is. Like compare that to the size of my face. It's a full-size palette not a mini sample size one that you'd usually find as a free gift so I really wanted to try this out. If you open this thing, if I can do that without spilling everything on the floor, that would be great. I searched the name of this palette up on YouTube and found a couple of tutorials on how to use this palette, so I'm going to approximately follow what they did. Uh, this is what it looked like on the inside. It has a gigantic mirror for a palette this size, which is great. Comes with a little cheek brush as well, which is awesome. These top three were advertised. These, there's like a grandpa poking a bush with a stick. We're just gonna ignore that. So these top three shades were advertised as highlighters, but I reckon they could also be used as blushes or eyeshadows. This one was a face base and this was a lip and cheek color. I'm gonna start with the face base. I'm just gonna dip my finger in this because it's like a gooey consistency, which would absolutely mess up the brush if I used it. Wow. It's a little like finger paint. <laughs> the consistency is quite watery actually when it's out of the palette. I'm not sure where to put this. <laughs> Let's just try using this as concealer and see how it goes. There's some under eye. Oh, this actually blends really well. Not gonna lie. This also feels a lot easier than foundation to blend for some reason. Maybe because it's so watery and liquidy. Where else is this supposed to go? <laughs> Wherever you're supposed to have highlight. I think this is great for covering up redness. I think I might use this as eyelid primer too. Let's just chuck it on. It does leave a bit of a ghostly white sheen to it. But I think as a base it works pretty well. Just cover my entire eyelid with that. Show on the side. I don't want to get too pale with this look. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it looks a bit blotchy in parts. I just stabbed my brush into the lip color. It's fine! Sure, next I think I'm gonna go in with the lightest shade here and see if I can use that as a And see if I can use that as a base. This is really flaky. Maybe here. I think this is actually lighter than my current skin tone. <laughs> Which I usually don't go for anything this pale. Oh, you can definitely see that. <laughs> I feel like my forehead is glowing now. <laughs> I feel like all of these shades are too light for me, maybe. Let's go for the middle one gonna do anything oh okay it's pink I'm just gonna dust that all over my lid these are very subtle don't really want these to go in my eye but they're in my eye nice I just smeared a lot of the lip 
stuff. So we're gonna try that here first. This doesn't blend as well as I thought it would. I thought this would be the consistency of lip tint, but it isn't really. This is getting a little bit chaotic, just a little bit, but we like chaotic in this house. Before we touch any more of that lip stuff, let's get this middle shade again. Actually on my cheeks, which is too light for my cheek. Let's try that one because that looks the darkest. Okay, this is an actual blush color. Thank you. <laughs> they said this could be used as highlight. Oh, okay, I finally see it now. Oh, this works nice as a blush highlighter. This is a nice two-in-one blush and highlighter combo. I'm digging it. Let's just try and aim this blush really high here. Into the eye socket a little bit. I might low-key try and use this as contour too, even though it's pink, very pink. Okay, no, too much. <laughs> there, that's better. <laughs> Don't forget your neck. Now let's try more of that lip stuff. It's really thick when you swatch it. I don't know how to describe this color. It's a little bit of a muted down dull blood orange, which is not the most savory description, but I like how it's a warm tangerine tone, which is nice. And this definitely does not blend as well as I thought it would. It's sinking into my face really fast. I like the effect though, it's not bad. Review of that palette. Not exactly sure it's for my tan skin tone. The most use I'll be getting out of it is the lip one because I usually like cream colors more than powder colors, but interesting. It's getting a little dark outside, so we're turning the flash on. <laughs> that Japanese magazine also came with these three cream sparkle glitter eyeshadows, also from Emoda. They're all a bronzy tint with slightly different shades. I'm gonna try the lightest one first. I'm gonna squeeze some on my hand and then just apply that on. But this also feels like finger paint. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Wow. This one's like a goldy texture. We're just gonna go for it. Maybe like on the crease. Nope, we're just gonna go all for it. <laughs> this is light enough to not actually show any color on my face, so let's just use that as a base all over the entire eye. Ah! <laughs> I love how blendable this is. This has the texture of watercolor paint, which is really nice and glides on really smoothly. 10 out of 10. And now my eye sockets look like disco balls. <laughs> Gonna use this as highlight too on my nose. Yep, that's what we want. <laughs> this would work really nice as highlighter too. I feel like every single makeup look I do turns into Wing does a disco ball cosplay <laughs> every single time. This goes a long way. Don't squeeze out too much. <laughs> Let's use some on my forehead. Target the sides. Don't do that. This honestly works as an all over glow finish thing. I do like that. Let's go for the darkest color. I'm sure these actually have color names, but I can't see them on this right now. <laughs> We're gonna do a much smaller blob this time. That should do it. This tube is gonna go a long way if I only need to use that much each time. What a steal. So we're gonna go in with that. Let's swatch this first. This is a bronzy color. Let's go in the crease with this. Good to know I can just swipe those on without really caring where it goes because it's very subtle. 
what am I doing next? Okay, next we're gonna jam some falsies on real quick before the sun completely goes down. <laughs> actually, no, the sun actually has gone down already. It's just dusk time. Actually, it's also mosquito time. But let's not worry about that. Let's chuck the falsie on. I only just recently discovered why this pair of falsies is so much easier to put on than other ones and that's because it has the thinnest lash band ever in the entire world and once that's on your eye it almost feels like it's not there because it's so light and it doesn't actually block as much of your vision as regular full coverage falsies would which is awesome because I can actually see in these <laughs> Now to put wings on the other eyeball. Putting on falsies is actually really therapeutic to me now because I used to do a lot of physical paper collage when I was younger, as in cutting out scraps from magazines and pasting them together with glue. I haven't done that as much lately, but gluing on falsies actually feels pretty similar, except you're using your own face as a canvas. And it just feels like eyeball DIY. There. I'm gonna fill in the gaps with some eyeliner. I'm gonna test this liner out. I've never tried this liner before. It is the Machino collab with Tony Moly, the BT Supreme Matte Eyeliner. I don't think this is waterproof, but let's hope it works. Let's try this next. Ooh, it feels like you can shake the ink barrel inside. That's cool. I'm pretty sure this is a felt tip and we'll just fill in the gaps there. First impressions, this is not as dark as I need it to be. <laughs> this feels more gray than black, but I guess that's good for lining your waterline. Okay, technically you're not supposed to use liquid liner to line your waterline, but I'm lazy and I'm doing it anyway. It's getting kind of dark in here, I don't really know what I'm doing. It's definitely not as pigmented as I'm used to. <laughs> not sure about that one, but I have another liquid liner to try, and this is the McQueen New York Waterproof Pen Eyeliner. Let's hope this works better. This one is also a felt tip. There. Let's see if this goes on any better. Oh, that's so much better. Hallelujah! And we'll just make a little bit of a wing with this. Ooh, this is a very nice liner. I do like this. Wow, this liner is very pigmented. I'm impressed. Very pigmented and very sharp. And very precise, which is exactly how I like my liners. <laughs> this is turning into a day to night look. Featuring natural lighting. Okay, that's honestly good enough. <laughs> First impressions, so far so good. I do like this liner, except I can't put the cap back on. Ooh, I like how the cap is springy when you put the cap back on. That's a nice little touch. I am very excited to try this next one. It is a Sailor Moon eyeliner. Okay, we're just gonna take the top off. First, this is supposed to be a dark blue liner. Let's just test that. That's not as pigmented as I thought it would be. As you can tell, I have very high standards for my liquid liners, but I have been looking for a colored one and I did want to try this out. So let me see if I can do the under eye with this. Or, or should we line over the black? Let's try lining over the black. Even though I don't know how that's gonna go. Woo. Did that do anything? That is so faint. And it's like faint to the point I can't see it. <laughs> Maybe this would show up in regular lighting, but I can't really see it right now. Maybe you can. <laughs> 
I'm not sure what I'd use this liner for because it's so light. Hmm. I'll have to give that a go again in regular lighting and see if it's any more pigmented than that. But not impressed so far though. This wand is incredibly cool. Maybe I'll actually swap it out for my... Yeah, I'll swap it out for my black liners. That's pretty cool. If you've watched one of my previous hauls, you'll have seen this product before. But I bought another one and thought it would be fun to use again. So this is the... I don't remember what this is called because I don't have the box, but I know this is some sort of eye candy glitter and this is in the shade Candy Bot. Which, look at all that glitter! This is an eye glitter with the most rainbowy sheen that I have discovered so far and it's so beautiful. <laughs> what look should we go for today? I saw a look earlier that put glitter over black eyeliner, so let's try that. Not sure how this is gonna work, but okay. Okay, I just destroyed my liner. <laughs> okay, top tip, don't do that. <laughs> Let me just dry that and put my liner back on. Okay, good enough. Okay, for the glitter then, we're gonna do my classic glitter under eyes. Go as close to your lash line as possible without actually stabbing your eye because that really hurts. This is not actually the best applicator for under eyes because it's in like a glue spreader shape. This is much better for actual sweeping up motions but if you're precise enough with this, it can do the trick too. My favorite glitter liner of all time is still the 3CE. I'm gonna butcher this Mason Kitsune collaboration, which I don't have with me today because it's not a new product. Maybe we'll add some like up here too, just for fun. Dab that all over without touching your liner. This is how you're supposed to use this on your actual eyelid. The last product I have is this So Juicy Tint Water from Tony Moly because Tony Moly was having a sale again. I swatched this a little bit earlier and it felt really liquidy to me, which it does look very liquidy in there, but oh, this is the carrot shade, but it doesn't really smell like carrots, which is disappointing. We'll just top up blush with this here. Wow, this is very pigmented. Okay. Whoop, blend that in. Bit on the nose. Blend that all the way in. Blend, 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 keep blending. <laughs> Powder blush tends to just sink into my face and disappear. So I really like using lip tints as cheek tints and cream blushes. Those are my holy grails. <laughs> and I'll try using this as a lip too. Wow, this goes on really pigmented. There's a bird! even though they should be asleep right now. Mm, it doesn't taste so good. Even though you shouldn't be eating your lip tints anyway. Good to know it doesn't taste good. I forgot to do my brows. <laughs> this is not a new product. This is my Holy Grail eyebrow pencil from Etude House. Uh, let me just do this real quick. Usually I'm doing my brows first in any routine. But for the sake of trying out all those products this time, brows come last. <laughs> Not sure if they're even as usual. <laughs> and I've tried every single product that I brought with me, so this is the finished look. Relatively easy, simple, not too much fuss. It took longer because I was narrating this entire thing and trying the new product, but if I were to redo this look again, it probably would only take about 15-20 minutes hopefully if nothing goes wrong so i hope that was useful hope you can adapt this to your own makeup routine and let me know what your quick and easy makeup go-to looks are because i'd love to know most of those products were good buys i will have to retest out a few of them to see how to properly use them but for the most part pretty impressed i'm going to go pack up my stuff now and get out of this park before it closes <laughs> even though it shouldn't close this early. I hope that was fun. Stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourselves, hydrate or digest. I will see you for the next one, bye.